Meghan Marco looks perfectly poised in a $1,600 Givenchy pencil skirt as she joins Prince Harry arrived at the United Nations, UN, headquarters in New York, where the Duke of Sussex is to deliver a speech to celebrate the historic anti-apartheid activist and former president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela. The Duchess of Sussex was seen entering the United Nations headquarters in Manhattan today alongside her husband as he featured as a keynote speaker at the UN General Assembly. Meghan Marco looks chic in a little black dress with pockets worth $1,600 by Givenchy from the French brand. The same skirt when visiting Dublin, Ireland on the 10th of July, 2018 but selected a dark green shade rather than the black version she sported today. With her hair pulled back into a ponytail, she paired the elegant piece with a pair of matching pumps and kept it simple with her accessories, carrying only a black shoulder bag and wearing a set of gold bangles. While Prince Harry wore a smart dark blue suit with a matching tie, the couple arrived smiling and holding hands for their first public appearance since their trip to the UK in June. Prince Harry will be the keynote speaker at the UN event in New York. He is delivering the keynote address during a two-hour long informal meeting of the General Assembly plenary dedicated to Nelson Mandela International Day. The Duke of Sussex is expected to talk about Nelson Mandela's legacy, as well as lecture delegates on climate change and poverty during the two-hour meeting. The session began at 3 p.m. BST and will also feature remarks made by Deputy Secretary General Amina J. Mohammed and the President of the General Assembly, Abdullah Shaheed. After the plenary, the couple will join meetings with UN ambassadors, Royal Author Omid Scobby wrote on Twitter. The day was established by the UN's General Assembly in 2009 to honor Mr. Mandela. Then 91, the South African leader asked people to celebrate him by supporting their communities. During the two-hour long event, the 2020 UN Nelson Mandela Prize will be awarded to Mrs. Mariana V. Vardanoyanis of Greece and Dr. Morris and Akawaite of Guinea. This prize is handed out every five years and recognizes people who have dedicated their lives to the service of humanity. The special event held at the UN headquarters in New York will focus on the theme of taking action and inspiring change. Harry will be accompanied at the UN by his wife, the Duchess of Sussex. She spoke at a conference at UN headquarters organized by UN Women on International Women's Day in 2015, before her marriage to the Prince. In January 2020, the couple stepped down as senior members of the royal family and moved to the Duchess's native Southern California, where they continue to live with their two children. Meghan and Harry visited South Africa together with their son Archie Harrison in late September 2019 during what became their last ever tour as working royals. On the final leg of their trip, the pair met Mr. Mandela's wife Grassa Mackle during a reception at the residence of the British High Commissioner. The trio drank tea and discussed the Sussexes experience in the African continent during their 10-day tour. The Duke and Duchess have made human rights activism a priority since they worked as senior royals, and they continue to do so after stepping down from their duties. Also, as the chief impact officer for mental health startup BetterUp, Prince Harry advocates for mental health access across the world. And he remains the founder and organizer of the Invictus Games, a multi-sport event for sick or injured military personnel and veterans. This Women's History Month, the Duke and Duchess offered grants to four leading organizations working to advance gender equity through their non-profit, Archiwell. Thank you for watching our latest video about the royal family. We always try to regularly update the latest news videos about the British royal family to meet your requirements. Our channel always has an objective, multi-dimensional view of the news. My main goal is just to entertain people. Hope you enjoy this news. If you have any questions or requests about content to watch, please leave a comment below this video of us.